The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has disclosed that the Investments and Securities Bill 2023 is now with the National Assembly, urging for speedy passage to enable it to reposition the capital market in order to tackle the economic challenges facing the country. Speaking to journalists in Lagos at a two-day training for capacity building, Lamido Yuguda, Director General of SEC, represented by Dayo Obison, Executive Commissioner Operations, also reeled out other major developments in the capital market. He said the commission is making efforts towards digitizing and modernizing the market, while stating that it is undeniable that effective market regulation can greatly benefit from the use of up-to-date technology. He adds that the commission is in the process of rolling out best-in-class technology in terms of infrastructure and solutions. To discuss this, we're joined by Kasimu Garba Kofi, CEO, APT Securities and Funds. Good to see you again, sir, and thank you for giving us your time. What specific provisions or changes does the Investments and Security Bill 2023 propose that are crucial for repositioning the capital markets and addressing the current economic challenges as highlighted by the SEC? Okay, as you are aware that uh, the last revised bill was 2007, we are 2015 years, and within that period we have the global meltdown of the capital market, especially in 2007 and 2008. Since that time, the exchange were unable to review their law, and there was generally globally change of the rule by many exchanges. So Nigeria is not an exception. We have no choice than to review and revise many of our law. So one, to enable the exchange to have more power. More power in dealing with the most of the Ponzi schemes. If you remember, we had I mean, I mean, we have uh, many other other schemes that came, Nospecto, Ponzi schemes entered. There are so many Ponzi schemes that deep a lot of people money. So the, the revised law deal with that point. The second one that it also gives them the power. If you remember, a lot of companies came through the private placement window where they collected a lot of money and just spent it without doing what they intend to do. So the new bill enabled the sector to have the power. Even if the private company decided to go and source fund in the public, you have to come through SEC. So the issue of you are a private company, you are not ruled by the exchange, will just be a bygone. And there is thick and heavy penalties assigned in the revised act, especially dealing with the scheme and dealing with the defaulters, and even the malpractice in the capital market can no longer hold because sex has given a power to deal with the culprit within the immediate effect. There is a provision that enables them to even jail you for 10 years in the term of the Ponzi scheme and what have you. So this bill will take care of that. Aside that one, it's now going to be both composite exchange and non-composite exchange. And what it means that the exchange now will be wider and therefore all the innovation that is coming, like the cryptocurrency, uh, will all be accommodated into the new bill. And therefore the exchange will have the power to rule all the innovation that is coming in order to enable those innovators to source public funds within the market. I, I'm curious, uh, I, I don't know if you have this information, but I'd like to ask, during the capacity building training in Lagos, what were the key initiatives or strategies outlined by SEC representatives regarding the capital markets development, apart from the urgency that is stressed on of passing the bill? Well, you see, before we are more into mono, uh, monopoly economy. Most of us, we just rely into a single product. Now we want to widen it. We have a lot of opportunities in the commodities, both in the agriculture, mine, and the energy. And all these will be allowed to come into the market and source for their money. And also the pin technology. <coughs> so all these ones, the new law will allow them and enable them to source the capital from the market, and that will give them a wider expansion and the better. And don't forget that we are also looking beyond Nigerian borders. First, we have WAMIC, 
West African Capital Market, and we are looking for the African Capital Market where the Johannesburg, the Nairobi, the Cairo, the Morocco, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire will all join together. So at your desktop, you can trade at Kenya, you can trade at Nair uh, uh, Egypt and South Africa. And all these, the new bill will give them that power to enable them to expand, and that will be better for the economy. All right. How does, how does the SEC envision that the bill uh, contributes to fostering investor confidence and attracting investment into the capital market, uh, considering, of course, the economic challenges currently faced by the country? If you remember that already Nigerian banks, which are the major financial institutions, are expanding in Nigeria. So if we have an expansionary uh, bill that allowed all this, you will see that Nigeria will be a financial hub, not only for West Africa, but the entire Africa. Today, London Exchange is the financial hub the entire world. People go to London Exchange, source for money. And if this is allowed, it will apply to the Nigerian exchange and so many other financials, not across Africa, will come to Nigeria and do it. Our banks are already there. We have UBA, we have Venice, we have GT, we have ASIS. All these uh, plus the ECOBA, all these are across the board. And by so expansion, by this new bill, will enable them to stand at the hub of the financial sector in Nigeria. Not only that one, we will be able to attract more foreign investors to right. come and deal with this as soon as we get our exchange stabilized. All right, Kasimo, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you for having me.